Hey guys, it's Angie Martinez, and I just cashed out with Luxury Tax. Hey, this is Lil Mama, and I just cashed out with Luxury Tax. Nicole, the personality as well. We always have multimedia blogger, Miss me. Ty Perkins, and your girlfriend's fave, Alex King, and Miss mm-hmm. Yavonna Clark is in the building, baby. Yes, ma'am. Miss Yavonna. Oh, she in here. Miss Yavonna, what's going on? Yes, well, if y'all don't know, y'all should know. Miss <laughs> Yavonna, she is that chick from Clark, okay? Mm-hmm. Period. Real house of Atlanta, baby. You don't know? You don't remember? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we got. Hey, Miss Yamana. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes. Hey, you. hey guys. How are you Hi. guys doing? Listen. Nice. How are you, love? Okay. I am fantastic. Good to talk with y'all today. Yes. I'm excited to have you. Thanks so much for joining our show. We can't wait to get into some things. Yeah, absolutely. Favor, turn down the, the speaker down a little bit in the background because it's kind of just giving us a little reverb. Okay, is this better? Yes. Much better. Yes. Okay, good. Oh my God. So listen, Miss Yavana, it is a pleasure to speak with you. Yes, and for those who are listening and they don't know, can you just introduce yourself and tell them where you're from, what you're doing now? Yes, uh, my name is Yovana Monplaisir. Uh, I am that bitch from CAU. You guys might recall uh, from uh, <laughs> my stint last season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, I'm from California, but I've been in Atlanta over 20 years. So uh, I'm a Georgia girl now. Awesome. Now, mm-hmm. that chick from Clark. So with the that news, bitch. Yeah, well, I don't want to call her out of her name. I just, bitch, you know, you could do that. We can't do that. You know? Yeah, I can't just be like that. It's like, she got to say it herself. <laughs> yes. But no, you can, of course, say, you know, bitch is in the eye of the beholder. Uh, like I've said before, when I say bitch, uh, you know, there's an acronym behind it. Uh, it stands for bosses initiating, taking control of her life. So if you're referencing me as a bitch in that regard, then, you know, I can take it all day long. Hello. That's right. Hey, hey. Mm-hmm. But any other way to get hands, right? Huh? Any any other way, you don't have to pop them and give them a little smack. Oh yeah, yeah. Any other way, you gonna get them hands? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, yes. Miss Yolanda, with the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, we see that you're cool with Nene and Marlo, and you're on cordial terms with Miss Eva and the other ladies. As mm-hmm. for Cynthia, though. We notice you guys have a little tension as you have some receipts on her talking about it. Now, what exactly, you can let us know, what was said on the tape and why did you record her in the first place? Okay, so let's take a step back uh, because the whole snake audio thing that everybody's been talking about, this is what I will say. Um, You know, it's it's very easy to to pin any like dirty or nasty antics towards a new person that's coming into the group because uh, uh, that's the obvious on the outside looking in. Um, But what I would say to you guys is watch closely. Uh, because uh, if you pay real close attention, all of them are snakes, Uh, because there's nothing that I did differently than any of those women uh, have done to each other. Just because you have a conversation with one friend and you share that information with another doesn't make you a snake. They've all done it. I guess, you know, with with these girls, it just happens to be two sets of rules. You know, there's a set of rules for the new girls and there's a set of rules for the OGs. Uh, so they, they just aren't playing nicely. So um, the reason I say that they're all snakes is because they all do the same thing. They all talk about each other behind one another's back. Um, I'm just the person. They just happen to be um, pointing the fingers uh, like they've been. But yeah, no, I, I don't know anything about audio. That has nothing to do with me. Okay. What audio? Because I ain't heard it. Have y'all heard it? Let me know. Period. Period. Mm-hmm. And I love that you touch on that because a lot of times on reality television, you know, when you are the new cast member, it's kind of like, a, I would say, new cast member hazing, I would say. Yes. Suggest. Yes. So That's I what think it is. That is, you know, something that we need to just remember that it's it's all fair yep. love and war, but when you are new, sometimes it's, you know, you can be taken advantage of. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no. 
Yeah, absolutely. Everything will ve- will reveal itself in, in due time. So you guys just make sure y'all tune in tomorrow to Bravo at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Now, speaking Ooh. of the housewives, how has your life changed since we first seen you on the housewives? Yeah. Well, a, l- a lot of people don't realize this isn't my first experience doing uh, television. I've been doing TV since I was like 18. So, I mean, like I said, my, my life hasn't changed any different than what it was before. Uh, right. You know, it is reality TV. I understand what comes with it. Um, you know, in this world, I'm damned if I'm, I do. I'm damned if I don't. So I'm kind of used to people having an opinion about who they think I am, uh, what my life is about. So, right. um, you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, it's, it's TV. It's designed to entertain. Uh, and, and that's what we're doing. Because if it, if it weren't interesting, y'all wouldn't be watching. We wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Hello. Right. And it kind of yeah. gives us like a, a inside look and it gives like your fans and audience just a chance to get to know you a little bit better and um, mm-hmm. learn more about you. And I love it. I love your personality. I love what you bring to the show. Yes. Super Thank spicy. You. I love it. You're, and you're also so funny. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, I try to keep things interesting. What I love about you too is that you actually have your own organization. So yes. can you touch on Super that? Important. Yes, yes, yes. Stop the traffic. Um, I, I came up with Stop the Traffic to bring more awareness to the human sex trafficking epidemic that's happening in our backyards here in the U.S. and globally. Um, and my mission, uh, to, my mission with Stop the Traffic is to educate victims to be saved. And the acronyms for that is See Something, Alert, visual details, escape the possibilities, and don't ignore. Um, You know, we've been hearing these stories of, you know, vans pulling up in parking lots and just kidnapping people, but they're, like, literally under our nose in in the most inconspicuous ways, like these predators that that people aren't uh, paying attention to. Uh, Social media platforms, like, they're DMing you, ladies, on these dating apps and sites that you're using. You need to be very, very careful. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. these gaming gaming systems, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. I had no clue that you could message, like you could send messages through those things. And I've got nieces and nephews yeah. that play video games all day long. I'm like, what? So it's just being more alert and aware. So I would tell people, if you've got children that have access to these games, like pay attention to who they're talking to. Um, pay attention to your kids' social media accounts. Ladies, don't go anywhere alone at night. If you're going on a date, don't meet anybody alone. Don't invite anybody into your home and don't go to nobody's house. It's just being just more careful and not being so quick, quick to trust people uh, because, like I said, it's a serious epidemic and it's just happening um, at a rate that's it just, it's just crazy. I love that. And you also have your own boutique as well, right? Say that again? You also have your own boutique out as well that we can shop online and have some of your pieces. Oh, yes. My online boutique. Yes. Yovana Mon Plaisir. Uh, What's Mon Plaisir by Yovana? Uh, So you guys can uh, check out my new line on um, online. I've got a lot of new pieces that I'm adding uh, for spring and summer. So stay tuned. Awesome. I'm excited. We love everything that you're doing, especially with the... um, the sex trafficking that you're bringing awareness to is super prevalent, mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. relevant, and it's important. And I feel like a lot of young girls, they're just not as aware as they should be. So this is just great. We love seeing you on The Housewives. Yes. And we love your clothes at your boutique. So we have Yay. Yes. We're tapping in a Thank lot. Thank you. Oh, oh we yeah. We got into um, a little, a little, scuffle. little scuffle with one of your cast members, a physical altercation. Is if this true? Will. Oh, well, uh, you guys must have watched the trailer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, an incident happens in Canada. You know, I don't want to say too much without revealing uh, the show. But yeah, you know, um, uh, things come to blows at, at a certain point And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, some stuff happened. So yeah, you guys got to watch. You, you got to watch to see uh, who, who, okay. who and what. Um, starts to develop. I'll just, I'll just say that. Yeah, let me stop. I give y'all too much. Oh, yeah. All we're saying is, do they remember that chick from Atlanta after that? I think she knew she was that bitch, whoever it was. Oh, they, they <laughs> always know. They, they know who that bitch is. Period. And also yes. this past week, 
a quick question for you as well. So Portia mentioned how you were thirsty, apparently. Now, you know, with those comments being stated, for yourself, what is your take on that? Do you feel like maybe Portia's thirsty? Like, what's your take? I mean, you guys, the viewers, you guys have seen what has transpired over the past uh, season uh, with her and what she's going through. So y'all tell me who's thirsty. Like, I mean, I don't really have to say a whole lot. Mm, I feel that. That's just that on that. So we're going to play a quick game before we let you run, Yvonne, okay? Okay. Awesome. We're going to have some fun. Some fun. So this is going to be called Housewives Association. Okay. We will ask you a question. You need to tell us which housewife will most likely be the one to do the action. Okay? Mm, okay. Okay. So let's kick it off. So most likely to tell all of your business. All the tea. Most likely to spill all your business, you said? Yes, most likely to tell all of your business. Which housewife would probably do that? Hmm. Marlo. Mm. Who? Marlo. 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 That's a good answer. Okay. You know, you know she, that. She, she messy boots, so mm -hmm. I could see Marlo doing that. She's chatty. <laughs> I could see that. Most likely to get drunk on vacation. Everybody. You said most likely to get drunk? <laughs> mm, on vacation I'll say me <laughs> you yeah, know a girl yeah. likes to drink a two or three okay. <laughs> four or five <laughs> I didn't want to go that far but yeah that too <laughs> um, let's see. who's most likely to win an award for, act for activism activism for activism hmm. Jeez. I mean, most of the ladies, for the most part, have organizations and foundations that, that they're a part of uh, where they do good in the community. So I'll give it to them all. Okay. That's a good answer. Yeah. And so next, a little messy. Who's most likely to get physical? Hmm. Kenya. Hmm. Who? Kenya. Kenya? Kenya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see that. Most likely to mm -hmm. skip out on the bill. Oh. Nobody. <laughs> Y'all got the coins. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Everybody handles their business for the most part. So yeah. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think anybody in the group would have an issue with that. Okay. And then lastly, yes. most likely to run a successful business, which is all of you beautiful black women. I'll give it to everyone. Yes. We love yeah. it. We love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, listen, Miss Yavana, when you come to New York, you have to come to Luxury Tax and hang out with us, okay? Oh, definitely. I would love to. My husband's from New York, and I love, I love, love, love New York. So next time I'm yes. out there, I will definitely stop by and check you guys out. 